This is the start of our first homemade airsoft claymore and we're going to use this well, lunch pail for the body of the claymore and once we've got this uh, system down we're going to make our own box and make it a little more you know realistic looking but for now we have some dollar store wrap traps we've disassembled and what we're going to do is we're going to cut behind uh, you know behind this line here because we won't need that section and we'll, uh, we'll kind of size it up to see how much room we're going to need um, between them to fit it in our lunch pail. Okay, this board we just cut, we're going to use it as a spacing for in here. And our two rat trap pieces are going to go right in here. And we're going to cut another one off of these board. And this is going to sit in here so the, the rat traps have something to push against when they're all folded up. And that will cause this to spring open. Now do we want to drill those all the way through or? We could. Yeah. Yeah. Just that way it doesn't split. Doesn't even get caught at all. Okay, we've assembled our little rat traps to our back plate. And you want to put yeah. that right back in there. And we don't have our sling made up yet. But this is going to show you how it goes together. And the door will just close up like that. So, we're just using some nylon from old seatbelt material, and we took three pieces and stitched them along the center, uh, because our rat trap braces are about three inches in length, so that'll give us three inches with a half inch on each end to fold over to make a little well, be, this will be the front, and we're going to fold this over here like this, because we figured it it just help keep the BBs in place a little better. Make a little pocket. Yeah. Seven quarters is the last thing we need to sew. And then assembly! And test. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. Yep. Alright, let's go get this thing mounted in our, in our box. Yes. Our box of love and joy. That's going to be awesome. We have our backing plate screwed into our lunch box. And we have the hole drilled here for our little trip lever. demonstration just I, I think it's the latch works pretty good 
Um, I don't know how hard it's going to be to trip it when you're walking through it, but this is what we have so far. I think that'll work quite well. All right, we've taken the lid off and we've bent up a piece of steel and we're going to use this as a, um, what do you want to call it? Support? Bracing? Yeah. Bracing. Um, just a little extra support because this is really flimsy and the hinges, we're just not going to cut it. So we've got these other hinges we're going to put on here. We're just going to pop rivet them on. And I'm going to pop rivet uh, this onto the top first. I'm going to drill the holes now and we'll do that. There you go. Sweet. Cool. enough for a hinge probably there we have the uh, the hinges welded on here on the braced up uh, sections of the box and we have it riveted in place that's uh, pretty pretty strong on there it opens and closes nice we're welding a piece of sheet metal to our spike and this will be riveted to the side of the uh, side of the box after we clean it up. We have got these spikes welded onto our side panels and we've got them drilled in place. And I think now what we're going to do is sandblast this box and put a coat of primer on everything. So we have the uh, spikes. Uh, well, it's the plates, uh, they're hanging and drying. We just prime them with a uh, the brown primer paint, and uh, we're waiting those for those to dry um, so we can uh, put the final coat of green on them. All right, we have sandblasted this box. I didn't do it like, you know, super good, just enough to kind of rough it up and give it a good texture for the primer to hold on to. We're gonna get that sprayed now. Yeah. Here is our claymore all assembled and finished. The big pauses and stuff. Um, the last thing we filmed was painting this box. And since then, we've um, reassembled everything. We pop riveted all the pieces into place. And we also added a, a little flap here to hold the BBs in place so they don't fall out when it's just sitting there. We've tested it a few times and it works pretty well. The trip mechanism we made is made out of a this is the head of a bolt, and what we did was we just kind of rounded off the uh, the points and put a groove in it, and we did this on a metal lathe. Um, that might be kind of hard for some of you to do if you don't have a lathe, but uh, you could make you know just wheel out of many different things, piece of PVC or something. You could put it in a just a drill and use a piece of sandpaper or something to to get it round and to the right size you want. Be creative figure it out. Anyway, how this works is it lifts up on our little latch here. Now close it up and you can see how easy it trips. Oh, well, this is just not a lot of pressure. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that works. I guess we'll uh, load it up with BBs and 
show you guys how it works. This works better with two people to load this so one person can hold it kind of halfway down while the other person puts the BBs in. That's good. You're going to lose a few. It happens. Push them all the way down. Mm -hmm. You can do this with one person easily. It's just, you know, the BBs are a little harder to keep in there. But you don't have to put that many in. One thing we're going to do that we haven't done yet is we want to drill a hole on either side through this top lip and the, the lip of the box to be able to put a safety, like a little pin. That way there when we're running out the trip line to put it in, you won't accidentally trip it. We've taken a nail and wrapped a bunch of string around it and this, you can kind of twist this to, to dial in the tightness on the, on the string. And these are brown string because it's really kind of hard to see on the ground. And there's our, our claymore right up here. And I guess the idea is to have them kind of walk in right about here. That way there. You get a good spread. Okay, we're going to just kind of give this line a tug from up here. You can kind of see the spread. We've got safety glasses on. <laughs> 